Hello everyone in this video, let us take a look at uh, some of the questions that were asked on the community recently. So this first question is from uh, Rachel and Rachel is asking about uh, should you create parent-child relationships using parent link field or issue links? Well, if you read the question, this question is uh, asking about uh, two things. In Jira, you don't really have a way to create uh, some kind of hierarchy out of the box unless you are using some add-on. So let us say if you're using some add-ons like uh, portfolio or structure, you can definitely create uh, uh, some structure like uh, parent, child, or maybe grandchildren, but natively there is no such way. So to answer this question, um, uh, we need to know whether you are uh, using either portfolio or structure or maybe some other add-on. And uh, if you're trying to use a link, in Jira, you have the option to, to basically link two issues together. You will have uh, a link, nothing apart from a link. It is not, nothing but uh, some kind of a relationship, but uh, it doesn't really mean that uh, you will have uh, this hierarchy or some kind of parent-child structure. However, if you're using let us say the structure add-on or an app, you will be able to visualize uh, this uh, linking, this uh, relationship on a board. Similarly with portfolio, if you're using portfolio, you have the option to use uh, you know, a field uh, that uh, might help you in uh, defining that one issue is a child or a parent of the other issue. So it really depends on uh, what add-on are you using? If you're using both of them, then you need to basically ask your Jira administrator for which project I should be using uh, uh, issue links and for which project I should be using the field. So I, I hope uh, it is clear now. Let us take a look at the second question. The second question is from Daniel and uh, Daniel is asking about comment box when I close the task. Now, in Jira, when you are, let us say, resolving an issue or when you are... Uh, closing an issue or maybe you're just doing any transition, you also have an option to pop up a transition screen in between. So in between two transitions or in between two statuses, you have a transition. And when you're doing this transition from status, let us say open to in progress or from in progress to done, you have the option to ask the user to fill up maybe uh, something additional, maybe an additional field, or it could be a comment. In this case, uh, you need to use uh, a transition screen. And when you add a transition screen, you will automatically have uh, a comment field apart from any other field that you may want to add. And uh, let us also take a look at uh, the third and uh, final question. So this question is uh, from Daniel, and Daniel is asking about uh, scripted field update value based on current value. Now, Daniel is asking about, uh, I want to update uh, the value in the scripted field, but I also want to check for the existing value. Well, if you're talking about uh, scripted fields, uh, the scripted fields are again based on uh, some other fields. So it really depends on the logic that you have defined in, the, in your uh, scripted field uh, script. And uh, if you want to check for the existing value, so you need to check the existing logic. So if you do the same logic again, let us say you're doing a summation or maybe a time difference, you can do the same uh, thing again before applying a new value or before displaying or a new calculated field. But you can also update this uh, scripted field calculated value maybe in a different uh, field, it could be a custom field or it could be a system field. And uh, you can always retrieve the value of a custom field uh, before uh, updating it again. So I have already uh, provided an answer and if you take a look at these two links, you will get uh, some idea about uh, how to retrieve the value of a custom field and you will be able to know more about uh, how scripted fields work. So this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.